Thanksgiving holiday, uh, Amazon released the Kindle, which, uh, if you haven't heard, is like Ken a... doll, like Barbie's companion. No, no. as in no. firewood. It's so firewood. Actually, it's, like, ah. if you were going to complain about something, you might say that that's a terrible name. I like it. Just burning books now that they're obsolete, perhaps. I don't know. I haven't touched one with my own hands. Yeah. yeah. The little reader thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was just on Amazon. Sorry. I haven't touched one with my own hand, but I've watched many a video podcasts and heard about it a lot. Mm -hmm. And it kind of seems interesting because a lot of people poo-poo it right away. Poo. Poo-poo <laughs> it. That's what, I, that's what I said. Yeah, okay. Um, Just checking. Because there's been tons of ebook readers in the past, like the Sony ebook reader, which is still out, that basically suck because the whole idea of an ebook reader kind of sucks. Yeah. Um, it's kind of good in general. I mean, if it was super cheap or whatever, I mean, it kind of be a neat idea. Like five bucks? Like super cheap. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But the idea of, uh, of them kind of sucks right now until there's like tons of people have them. But... The thing about the Kindle is, to me, that's attractive, is it does so much more than just ebooks. Yeah, it attaches to your steering wheel so you can read while you're driving. <laughs> no. Seriously? No. Oh. It didn't get in the way of my television. No, no. I'm so, so gullible, I swear. So, like, one of the cool things, it, it's, it's hooked up to the uh, EVDO network in the United States, so it's got wireless all the time. Yeah, so, so you can actually so buy books updates. from it. You don't have to hook it up to your computer to buy books. And uh, but it does have a USB cable apparently. You can hook it up to your computer, which I didn't I didn't hear until this morning. Mm. And so so that's kind of cool. And then also the other cool thing is it's hooked up to the internet and you can actually read newspapers. It, on it. it said newspapers, magazines. I'm and unclear as to the cost of this. I know there's no monthly charge for the for the bandwidth. Okay. And I thought there was no monthly charge for any of the stuff. But then I just heard that if you're going to send yourself an email, um, on it it's ten cents. Because mm. the idea the idea the e you have a Kindle email address. And the idea behind it is that you could actually have like a PDF file or something and you can use this Kindle software mm. to convert it to the Kindle format and email it to yourself. So you, on, you go on your so Kindle and get an email. Thing? It's like the size of a paperback book. Yeah, it's like five by seven. And it's really thin. But Weird. So, so, so I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's exactly. an interesting concept. And, and what I heard, and this was Callie from Geek Brief talking about it on Twitter, uh, is that you, you can actually do the conversion and hook and do it by USB and it's free. Is the ten cents is to pay for the bandwidth of, of the transferring? Yeah. So I want to know: is it ten cents for every email? Is it is it only ten cents when you are transferring a, a book or something? Mm -hmm. And can you use the email like regular email? Like, could you get that as like your email? Like, could, could I get it for say my grandmother and say, hey, you can use this thing to get email. I'll email you on this. Mm -hmm. um, but getting newspapers is kind of interesting. But again, I'm, I'm I was thinking this was all free, and now I'm, I'm wondering: well, if you get the New York Times. Is it free or not? Because well, as many newspapers like, have subscription rates for yeah, their online Yeah, it's kind of going away now that right. um, Murdoch like, bought the, bought the have Wall Street Journal. to RSS feeds? Well, that, yeah. Like, it, text like uh, somebody's blog just like always There drive, are like, RSS Kindle feeds on it, but apparently it's only like, like really news. top ones like Engadget and stuff like that are on there. It's not just any you RSS like, feed. Mm -hmm. It has to be processed through the Kindle ones. servers and all. So there's specific, there's a variety of them. And different topics, but they're not anyone you want. Yeah. You can't just you can't really surf the web on it. You can kind of mm -hmm. see something on it, but I'm really unclear about it. Be necessary, but like if you could hook it up to your computer and assign the RSS feeds, well, if sure. it were any you know any RSS feed, but you know like some people's phones, like you could you get your Mac to, most like news. ten <laughs> websites. To well, and if you can eat, it. and if you can send the email from it, which I assume you can, then it's kind of interesting because that opens it up to lots of things, even Twitter. Because you know, is there an email interface for Twitter? You can email. I would assume that oh, there is. Like from your phone? Well, just you an email. Like all you have is a, an email device. Can you email Twitter? And I don't know. And yeah. update your Twitter? Yeah. 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 So so, so it would be a, an interesting little device if all that stuff is true and it's free. So I don't know. I'm still waiting for them to send a review copy. If everything See, were uh, wonderful I, and it were free, the Kindle would be great. <laughs> yeah, but, I, but I do think the $400 price, everybody's complaining oh, about no, it. Oh, no, I didn't and, know it was and, and, and it's comparable to some ebook reader, which I think has been out now for a while. It's down to 300 bucks. Well, the Barbie doll costs $600. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but the, the thing is that the, um, the $400, that's the highest it's ever going to be. Doll. Yeah. It's, all, it's probably going to come down. It'll only ever go down. It'll probably drop down to 300 These are early adopters. It'll probably drop down to 300 I 
I would hope that eventually there would be a device, uh, a, a Kindle device in the future that's 99 bucks. Versus that saving you bit. the the expense of buying books and the storage of having them. Having them and you can carry a ton and, of them and with you and you can read newspapers. Kind of like an this iPod stuff. for books in a way. I mean, some of those Harry Potter books are huge. They have them on a little thin thing. Mm. Kind of neat. So anyway, send us one and we'll, we'll talk about it extensively. <laughs> yes. All right. Yes. Bye. Bye. See everybody later. So yeah, so you don't like ebook readers. Apparently, huh? Thank you.